I don't know anybody who walks around their property and if they really look around can say all of the plants on my property are edible. And if your property isn't full of edible or useful plants, why not use the ones that aren't useful or edible to grow ones that are? What's up everybody, it's Frenchie Powell. Today we're gonna look at how to use weeds that grow all around us and everywhere, whether it's city sidewalks or hedgerows, to grow food that is good for our health and is great and can build great soil for our gardens. So let's check out how we can use everything that grows around us that we oftentimes need to cut anyway. Maybe it's too close to a structure or too close to a sidewalk or a roadway. How can we use those things to grow good food? So right here's a great example. I've got a plant here that's called giant ragweed. And giant ragweed produces a very dusty pollen and it's an extremely potent plant when it comes to allergy season. A lot of people suffer because of this plant. And it was growing down a roadside in abundance. So I figured I'd get up early in the morning. I took a pair of loppers and I cut multiple wheel wheelbarrows full of this stuff. And what do I do? I just take it. We've got a garden here at my parents' farm and South Central Pennsylvania. And I just take it and I throw it on the ground. And what this does is it works perfectly as a mulch and gardeners know mulch is wonderful. It cultivates the microbiome of the soil. It cools the soil. It keeps moisture held in. And I fill the ground with this stuff. I've got mulch, fresh stuff here, old stuff there, all around this hazelnut. We've got some beautiful chicory coming in. I've got little sweet potato plants just stuck in here. Uh, we got tomatoes. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here, guys. I know it looks a little wild. But right here, even, we've got a little sweet potato. And what you can do around your plants is use weedy, plant, uh, use weedy plants. So here I've got some autumn olive branches that were growing out over a road. So I, I pulled them and I just tucked them in, just like you would tuck a little person, a little child, in in bed. So I, we've got a garden bed here, and I just use tender, small stuff to tuck around the plants, but I use the big stuff to fill in the rows, to, to fill in the paths. That way, you know, it gets stepped on all the time. If it's woody, the fungi finally get to have at it and break it down. And really it's making that beautiful, healthy soil that when you have good soil, then you can go grow good plants. You know, don't try to feed your plants. Stop trying to feed your plants. Feed your soil. Then you'll be able to feed yourself. Let's use the things that are normally to be discarded as a system to grow abundance.